This is a cheap, low-grade diamond, about $100 from eBay. It's cheap because it's not very clear. This is what's called a Congo cube, also from eBay, maybe $200. It's quite large, but sort of polycrystal and not one nice big crystal of diamond. When you heat a diamond with a hydrogen torch, it starts to glow, first red, then orange, then almost white hot. At some point, it catches fire, and you can then keep it burning by blowing pure oxygen gas over it. It won't actually burn by itself in air, but with a stream of oxygen you can see little blue flames coming off it to tell you that it's burning. When we tried the same thing with the Congo cube, it was going great for a while, but then there was apparently some trapped gas or stress in the crystal structure that caused the whole thing to explode quite violently. It sent little slivers of diamond bullet into the lens and damaged our lens. Whoa. Next, we tried dropping a diamond that we'd lit with a hydrogen torch into a test tube full of liquid oxygen. Diamonds burn great in liquid oxygen, but unfortunately the test tube kept getting all frosted up and you couldn't see what was going on. Next, we hit on the idea of putting a very small amount of liquid oxygen, just a few drops, into a depression drilled into the top of a block of graphite and then dropping the lit diamond into that. This worked great because you could really see what was going on and see how the diamond was aggressively burning with the liquid oxygen. And also the oxygen didn't last very long, so we could do the same thing over and over again with the same diamond. Next we wanted to show how cheap cubic zirconia is actually much more durable than diamond. This is about an $8 ring from Walmart, which we're going to melt down with the same hydrogen torch that we used to burn the diamonds. Cubic zirconia is a form of zirconia, which is zirconium oxide. It's both extremely hard, not quite as hard as diamond, but close, and also extremely resistant to high temperatures. You can see here that I've heated the cubic zirconia at least as hot as the diamond was when it ignited. This is one reason why zirconia is actually used as a furnace lining for high temperature furnaces.